Hi guys, this is a Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is a What If Deku Caught the Eye of a Vampire. Part 3. I just had to make sure, double check that I had the right part. As um, we start our episode off the next day. As Izuku is sitting in the classroom, sitting near um, Alice. As Alice occasionally you know, looks at Izuku. Occasionally. What is it, Alice? As Alice looks at Izuku, we're going to have a little talk. After, uh, after school, meet me on the roof, our normal, our normal um, location. All right, Alice, I'll be there. I have to get to my next class. As Izuku gets up, goes to his, sec his second class. Izuku spin his day with his um taking classes at his school as the end of the day finally arrived as Izuku walks up the stairs to the the roof as he's just laying against the wall waiting for uh, Alice as he looks at his watch periodically as Alice you know finally comes in comes up to the, um, the roof good you're here Izuku as she's carrying a, a bunch of flyers Bo uh, brochures. As she hands them the brochures, as easy goes, what's this? These are the places I want to go. You get to pick what place you're going to take me. What is this exactly? Amusement park, movies, restaurant, uh, different places that she wants to do. Simple. You're going to take me on a little date. Excuse me? I am no taking you nowhere near close to date. You don't have a choice in the matter, Izuku. As Alice leans against Izuku, as Izuku's against the wall, as Alice gently touches his cheek. You might not realize it now, Izuku, but I've, I've already claimed you as my mine. So, your compliance, is, it's not an issue. You are to take me out on one of these places. I'll let you choose be taking me out on the weekend. I'll let you choose which you where you want to take me, but I expect you to dress nice. Until we... I'll see you later tonight, Izuku. As she leaves, as Izuku's confused of what the hell just happened. Fucking great, now I got suckered into taking her out. My life's just... My life's just such a pain in the ass. As he picks up his book bag, as he leaves the roof, as he heads home. Hey mom, I'm home. How's your day? Good, apparently I have to go on a date this weekend. As Inko, really? With who? You know who. Alice. Yeah, her. Do you, I might need to go to the store to get something nice. She wants me to dress nice for this date. I still want to be checked out. There's something wrong with me, Mom. Sweetheart, there's nothing wrong with you. I could tell you, you you don't hate the girl. I could, I could tell. Mother knows that you, you, you do like her, even though you, you're denying it. It's better for you to accept the, your feelings and see where this takes you. Whatever, Mom. I'm going to head to my room. I have some schoolwork to do. As we cut to the realm of the void, as you have Izuku's biological mother sitting at the bar. As she's just twirling her fingers around the edge of the glass. As a figure appeared out of the shadow, stands in front of, I don't know if to name her yet, I'll worry about that later. As she bows, you wanted to see me, my queen? Ah, oh, good, you're here. I have a special task for you, my knight. I want you to go to the human realm and test my son. And if he passes your test, 
bring him to me. It's, it's far about time I meet my son. Understood, my majesty. As this woman gets up, as she um, sinks into the shadows. About time I tell you who you really are, my son. As, as we skip to the weekend. As we time skip to the weekend. And it, it, it's a couple day time skip. As Izuku decided to take Alice to the yearly, um, the yearly round festival. A lot of, a lot of games, and afterwards a nice fireworks show. As Alice has wrapped her arms around Izuku's arm as they're walking, as Izuku's um, Alice is wearing a kimono, so is you know Izumi a kimono for a guy, as they're. Doing a lot of the games, like several different, you know, car, uh, carnival games that are at, you know, this type of festival that that uh, that has happened in Japan. As the, as Izuki won a bunch of prizes for, you know, Alice, and she was quite surprised how good he is with these these um these games, even though half the time. They're made for, they were made for them to lose. Come on, Izuku. I want to check the stand over there. As she drags Izuku around. As she's having a blast. She's never been able to attend this type of festival. Being a vampire and all. She doesn't spend a lot, a lot of time with human activities. As after several hours of going around playing games getting getting to know each other a little more better more than they normally have as Izuku and Alice sit down on the grass as they watch the fireworks as they watch the fireworks as Alice wraps Izuku arms around her as she talks to Izuku I know you're you're curious about your heritage. Yes, I'm very curious, Alice. I have some I have some information, but I don't know the full graphs of the situation. You have um demon blood in you. You've you guessed that uh, you guessed that out already. Yeah, I'm more of what those um monster says. Those were demons. My dear Izuku. But according to what my mother said, we don't know what type of demon you are. You are new. Something we, have, we haven't seen before. It's quite shocking my mom hasn't even came across. Came across what type of, what type of demon blood you have. We've never, she's never seen it. She's had several specialists look, look at it that specialize in demonology. And they have came out blanked. But I don't care what you are. You could either be human, vampire, werewolf, or a demon. Or you, or you could be the Antichrist itself. I really don't care. All I care about is you belong to me. The sooner you come, to, you, come, you come to terms with it, my dear Izuku, the better off you'll be. I always get what I want. Always. Why are you so fixated on me, Alice? I don't know. There's something about you. It's something I just can't resist. And I'm not talking about your blood. Your blood is quite delicious. Cost it, it very addicting, but that's not what that's not what that's not what attracted me to you. I will admit, Alice, somewhere deep down, way down, I do have affections towards you. As Alice was happy about that, as she turns around, as she pushes Izuku down on the ground, well, she, laying, she pushes Deku on the ground while he's forcing him to lay down. As she, you know, lays on top of him. 
As she tilts, as she tilts her, uh, sorry, as she tilts his neck, as Izuku sees that hunger in her eyes, as she bites down, as she begins to feed off Izuku, as after she gets done feeding off Izuku, she pulls out uh, some bandages, as she bandages the, the, the mark up, as she does cuddles with Izuku while watching the fireworks. These days, Alice, you're gonna drain me dry. I, I, I'm, ha, I, that will never happen, my, my dear Izuku. I have no intention of killing you, ever. The fireworks finally end as everyone begins to leave. As, as Alice gets up, as she helps Izuku up, as she wraps her arms around his arm, as you know they're walking home. It's nighttime. Alice, do you sense it? I have. Seems like we have a visitor. A woman appears out of the shadows. As she blitz Alice, grabs her by the head, as she throws her across the way, as she hits the wall. As she reaches out her hand, as her hand starts um, emitting, emitting a black energy. As Izuku rushes to block the energy attack that was heading towards Alice. As Izuku gets thrown into a wall. From the sheer impact of the blast. As Alice gets the rubble off her. Oh, that bitch is dead. As she suddenly gets up. Izuku, are you right? I'm fine. Who the hell is she? I don't know. But she's dead. As, he's, as um, Alice rushes over to the mysterious woman, as the battle commences, as the mysterious woman give vicious, a uh, vicious combination blow to Alice, as she's being tossed around like a rag doll. Even with her, even with her superior strength, she is no match for this, for this woman. As Ezekiel, as he. As Izuku unleashes a brutal combination, a mixture between punches and kick, uh, punches and kicks, as the woman gets, as the mysterious woman gets pushed back a couple feet, as he, as as Izuku sees a smile form on the mysterious woman's face. Well done, Izuku. Who the hell are you? Who I am is not important. But. The other one. I don't need her. As she was about to attack Alice. As Izuku forms a shadow scythe. As, as, the, mystery, as the mysterious woman in mid um, rush or mid charge. She does a backflip avoiding Izuku's um, blade. Barely missing her cheek. Her, sorry, her neck. As the mysterious woman appears in right in front of Izuku, Izuku couldn't um, keep up with her speed. As she grabs Izuku by the head, as she kicks Alice, as she goes right through a window, as she ignites uh, a blast, blowing up the building. You have a lot to learn, young master. As she, as she, um, sorry, as she strikes him in, in the stomach, as Izuku coughs up, um, spit, as she, um, as she karate chops the back of his neck, knocking him out, as she lifts up Izuku, as Alice rushes over there, as the woman smiles, you're far too late, vampire. As she disappears in the shadow with Izuku, as Alice tries to rush over to grab Izuku, as it was too late, as Alice pounds the ground hard, screaming. Izuku, as she's pissed. As the mysterious woman has Izuku in her arms, as she, as she sets them down in front of his mother, my queen. It's done. 
How did he do? He was adequate. He still has much to learn. Very well. You may leave now. I must have some quality son with my dear son. Understood, master. As she disappears. As she sets Izuku on her lap. Oh, sorry. She set Izuku's head on her lap as she's stroking his hair. I have missed you, my dear son. It pained me for leaving you in the human world. But don't worry, I'll make up for lost time. As Izuku's still unconscious, as he wakes up, as he's a bit on alert. As he jumps up, as he gets into the battle stance. Calm down, calm down, little one. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Where am I? Welcome to the void, my son. Son? Yes, I am your biological mother. I have many names, but you just call me mom. You might not believe me, my dear boy, but have you ever wondered why you're so different from everyone else? Why demons continually hunt you down? All I ask, my dear boy, is you just have an open mind. Please, sit. As the chair appears out of the shadows, as he, as, as Izuku um, sits down with his mother. As you have already figured out, you are half demon. But you're special. Oh, no, sorry. The demon race doesn't know of my existence. I've, I, I outdate time itself. I've been around, I've been around long before Lucifer and his little gang of disgusting low-grade demons. I am what you call a upper-class demon, far superior. Think of it like this. Demons you came across, they're a pale imitation of what I truly am. What you are, what truly you are, you're far more powerful than you realize, my son. You just haven't awakened to your demonic powers just yet. That's why I have brought you here. To my realm. To your home. Have you ever wondered why you're so powerful when it comes to the shadows? Because your power comes from, from me, myself. I am, the, I am the, the queen of this realm. I'm the queen and the void itself. I've been around. I pre, I, sorry, give me a second here. Before God made his little creations, I was here. The void has always been around. God doesn't interfere in my business, and I don't interfere in his. I normally don't go into the human realm, because I find humans very disappointing. I do occasionally do deals with them, if, if they prove worthy enough. But, no, uh, but enough about work. You're my mother, then why did you leave me? It might be a demon, son, but I'm still a mother, and I always will always want what's best for you. I wanted you to have a somewhat normal life. But the time has come for me to, to interfere and to guide you to your true potential, my son. Who was that woman? Oh, that was my knight. From, from day on forward, she will be your protector, your guardian. So, has that human woman been treating you right? Yes, she's been very kind to me. Deep down I knew um, there was something she wasn't telling me. You don't blame her. How she found you, she doesn't know of my existence. She 
clearly doesn't know about the supernatural world. I prefer you to keep that way. That's the best for her to be um, safe. I chose her specifically to be your mother, your human mother. Until you were strong enough. Mature enough for I could finally meet you, my, my dear son. What exactly do you want with me then? Simple. I... I brought you here to awaken your demonic powers. The demons will not stop. And they'll send more higher grade demons after you. And the demon princess, they clearly want you dead. But they don't realize who they're fucking with. They'll get what's coming to them in good time. But I need to make sure you're well, you're prepared. You can protect yourself. Very well. If I allow you to awaken my demonic powers, as you say, what will happen to me? Will I still be me or some... Um... Maddening creature. Don't worry, my dear boy. You you will still attain. You'll still be you. Only difference, you'll be a lot more stronger. And your appearance might change. Now. This is not a... Um, I'm not forcing you to do this, son. This is a choice. But if you go through with this... You cannot go back. There's no turning back. And to unlock your demonic powers, it's going to be a very harsh experience for you. But what about my mother, human mother? She'll eventually get worried. Don't worry. Time flows different here. I won't be able to unlock your full power, your full demonic power, but I can, I can loosen, loosen the seal, as Izuku, so what do you say, my dear son? Fine, do it, if it will increase my power, then, then I have to, like you said, those demons are going to keep coming after me, and I must make sure I'm prepared. Good, my boy. Hold still. Oh, and before you and before we begin, Izuku, you might have some physical changes. As Izuku's what? As she begins uh, loosening the seal that's blocking off his demonic powers. As Izuku, black or a black energy aura surrounding him. As Izuku screaming. Tough it out, son. It hurts. But you're strong. After all, you are my son. You're of my blood. As Izuku experienced pure pain for three hours straight, as he, f as the process has finally stopped, she hasn't unlocked the whole seal, but this, this loosened it a little bit. So he has some access to his demonic power. His his demonic power is too powerful for for him to control at his current level. And his mother is well aware of that. Diku's hair turned to pure black. As horns did grow up on the side of his head. Uh, it's pure jet black color horns. Take a look, son. This is what you look like now. As she, he sees the mirror, as he's like, what? All oh, this is going to be hard to explain. Don't worry. I will teach you how to hide your, hide your demonic appearance. As Izuku's mother, as she trained him personally. For Izuku... For Izuku, he's been there for several weeks, but in reality, in the real world, he's only been gone for a few minutes. Izuku finally gets the horns to disappear as his hair color turns to green. 
Now I won't get asked a bunch of shit little questions. That's good. You did well, son. You should be able to... That is your true appearance. You might prefer the human look, but that's who you truly are. Never be ashamed of who, who, are, who you are or what you are, my son. We will meet again in the near future. As she goes over there, kisses Izuku on the forehead. Until we meet again, son. As he gets thrown out of the void. Fuck, my life got a whole lot more complicated. Apparently. Apparently my birth mother is some sort of super overpowered demon. That's lovely. Well, at least I got some power out of it. Still don't trust her whatsoever. But we'll see what happens in the near future. Tackle the ground as Alice can smell Izuku when he reappeared. And she's like, are you right? Where are you hurt anywhere? I'm fine, Alice. I'm fine. This had a nice chat with, with someone. You, how did you escape, Izuku? I didn't escape. They uh, they let me go freely. They just wanted to have a conversation with me. What are you not telling me, Izuku? You're hiding something, and, and I know it. Hard to wrap my head around it right now, Alice. Just give me a couple days to process this. Then I'll be more than happy to tell you. Good. Good, Izuku. As she, you know, grabs onto him. Like she always does. Wraps her arm around him. Because I don't like, I don't like you when you keep, I refuse to have you keep secrets from me. You can, you know, touches her forehead as Alice, what are you doing? Making sure you're right. You're oddly nice. I don't know what you're talking about, Izuku. Come on, walk me home. As Izuku walks her home. As she grabs Izuku by the collar and kisses him, we're going to have a we're going to have a lot of conversation. What exactly happened tonight? Don't keep me waiting, Izuku. I'm not a patient girl. As she waves him off, as Izuku sighs as he walks home. I totally forgot to ask her, ask that woman, who is my dad. I was always curious about that. Uh, maybe next time. As Izuku walks home, at his his mother is at work, doing her hero job. As he, as Izuku fixed dinner, as he finished up some things around the house, as he finally heads to bed. I know you're there. Come out. As the mysterious woman pops out of Izuku's shadow. You want to see me, young master? My apologies in advance for the rough treatment. I was only, I was only doing what your mother asked me to do to test your, to, to test you. I'm only here to guide you and train you and to protect you from anything that will harm you harm, young master. I will not interfere in your daily activities or with that vampire you're close to. That's fine, but my human mother must not know about this. I want her as far as away from the supernatural world as far as possible. Understood, young master. I have no problem following such orders. Humans should not be involved in, 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 in our race to begin with. Call me if you need me. I will appear if, if you ever need my assistance, young, young master. As she uh, returns to Izuku's shadow. As that's where we're going to stop it. Hope you guys have a good night and day, judging my time zones. Catch you in the next video.